what is your sexuality to say? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a Q&A as I haven't done one in a while. And I thought it's just something to do during quarantine. It's to answer some of you guys' questions. So I took my Instagram and TikTok to get you guys to ask me some questions about different topics in my life. And I'm just going to be going through them today. And if you want to take part in the next Q&A, make sure that you head over to my Instagram and my TikTok to look out for the next one, which I'll put up soon. Okay, so let's get into the questions. I'm starting off with Instagram, and one question that I got was, where do you see yourself in 10 years? So, in 10 years, I'll be 29 which seems so old right now. Um, but in 10 years, I hope to have completed my uni course, hopefully got a job that I'm enjoying. I would also like to have my own horse and be an international horse rider and hopefully competed at the Paralympics maybe more than more than once, would it be two? Yeah, so two twice. I hope to have competed twice. Um, I'm not sure about kids and marriage and all that. I mean, I think it just comes as it is, but I'm not going to be rushing into anything too soon. So, yeah. Next question. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Pisces, so my, my birthday is on the 12th of March. So I'm Pisces. I didn't know much about zodiac signs, but that's what I am. Um, do you speak Arabic? This is the comment that I got because I responded to a comment that I was in Arabic. But no, I do not speak Arabic. I speak Spanish. A little bit, I'm not fluent, I'm like still learning. I can understand that I can speak little bits but not like fluently. But I am trying to learn different languages. I want to learn like the basics of a few, a few languages so that if I were to go to those countries, then I know how to communicate at least the basic things. But no, I do not speak Arabic. The next question is. How often do you get mean comments? Um, I don't get mean comments that often. Um, I mainly only get mean comments on my TikToks. But I don't think they're necessarily mean. I think people are curious whether I actually am disabled or what dis dis disability I have. So I see it as a sense of curiosity. So I just respond saying that I am disabled, I have cerebral palsy and dystonia, and then they seem to just go away. People that are more serious, I will either delete or kind of give them their own, a taste of their own medicine. But yeah, I don't get it that often, and even when I do it, I don't see it as a big deal, so I don't really take note that it's a mean comment, I just kind of deal with it and then move on with my life, so. Um, next question, what's your next riding goal? So, so ob obviously right now in quarantine I can't horse ride, I can't train, which is still upsetting and very annoying. But I think my goal for the next few weeks is to still educate myself. I'm buying a few books that I can read and just kind of educate myself as a rider, well, one of my coaches, one of my coaches always says that is, you're not able to ride the horse the way that you want unless you know how to do it. So you need to know some kind of knowledge in order to do that. So I'm kind of spending the next few weeks reading books and 
gain as much knowledge as I can in order to when I get back to writing I can then become better and better. My next actual writing goal will, will be to be an international writer. I'm I wouldn't say I'm far off but I would need a bit more training and a bit more support to get there I think. But I, I hope <laughs> I know that I will get there soon, so yeah, that's my next goal. Um, what's your favourite hobby to do? My favourite hobby... <coughs> my favourite hobby, other than the horse riding, is probably... I love shopping. I feel like everyone loves to shop. <laughs> I love putting together outfits, so like, if I have a event that I, I'm going to, I like to plan my outfits, like, in depth. Um, I just find it really cool, I love fashion, and I love putting together outfits. So I guess that's a hobby, kind of. Um, next question. What do you do in your first time? Um, in my first time, I'm either researching for sponsorships for horse riding, I'm talking to coaches or riders about horse riding, I'm planning my next speech or talk or talking event, um, I'm kind of just managing my life in my, in my fair time. But I guess for fun, I'd be watching Netflix or TV or something. Another question that I got with what are my favourite TV kind of series right now. I love Tiger King, I think it's hilarious. I mean, Tara Baskin is insane. Um, what else did I watch? I watched Dare Me on Netflix and that was really cool. That is a really cool show actually, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Who is my favourite singer at the moment? Um, I think a lot of you are expecting me to say Ariana Grande. I do love Ariana Grande so much. But I think my favourite at the moment is definitely Billie Eilish. She just hit in in a different way. She just, she just got me at the moment. My favourite season. Um... Definitely summer because it's just nice weather and that's usually when I go on holiday and tra travel. And, and summer's usually the time that I go horse riding most. So it's my favourite time of year really. Um, the next question is what's your favourite brand? Now this, this question I wasn't sure if they meant like clothing brand or like just brand. <laughs> My favourite clothing brand, I say, I do, oh I got to think actually, I love shopping at Urban Outfitters, so I'm going to say Urban Outfitters for, for clothing, clothing brands, and within Urban Outfitters there's many smaller brands, so. Next question, what's your favourite fruit? My favourite fruit is a mango. Absolutely love, love mangoes. I, I, yeah, every day, if I cook. And my nan lives in, in Jamaica, and when she comes back to the UK, she brings mangoes, and they are the best mangoes. Okay, next one. My favourite food. I'm gonna get 18 bean burritos. You know what? Make that 20. Swear to God. Who is your idol? Um, I've never really thought of who my idol is. I mean, I look up to a lot, of, a lot of people. I guess my idol in the horse riding industry would be Sophie, Sophie Christensen because she is a gold medalist and a lip. Paralympic winner of many years and I'm now fortunate enough to have her mentor me and kind of give me guidance on what I need to do in order to get to her status. Um, 
and we actually did a collab on the video so that will be going up soon otherwise other people that i look up to in in the respects of like celebrities like singers i guess i like a lot of people but for different reasons like i like the way that uh, ariana grande kind of stands up for what she wants and what she needs she doesn't let anyone take advantage she kind of just puts everything out there which i love Billy Eilish, she's just like an absolute savage. Um, she shares her emotions so deeply and well, widely, which I respect so much and I kind of learned over the years that it's nice to share things, not everything, but it helps. Um, and I also love that thing because they work so hard. Like, they, they train for like, Five, five or six years before they even debuted, which is absolutely insane. But I think their, de their dedication to their work is what I want to be known to have as well. So, it's like a few of my idols then. Yeah. Um, what is your ethnicity? So, I never had this one before actually, but I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy to have it, but my mum is 100% Jamaican and my dad is half Jamaican, half Welsh. So I'm three quarter Jamaican, a quarter Welsh, which I absolutely love. Okay, the, the, the next question is, do you support the, uh, the LGBTQ plus community? <laughs> a bit of a long one. And the answer is yes, and um, I've always supported that community. A lot of my friends are in that community, and I've kind of supported them through the, their journeys. And I also think that because I am disabled, I want people to be accepting on my differences. So I think in order for people to accept me for who, who I am, I have to support everyone else that is different as well. I can't... It's hard to put in words, but like... I can't not like, not like someone for their difference when I'm different as well. Like, you can't. Like, I just want to kind of show love to everyone and hope that I get the same, basically. Yes, I'm very supportive of that community. And the last question is... What is your sexuality? So, so one thing that I haven't put a label on yet is my sexuality and that's because one I don't really want to put a label on it because I feel like labels are quite unnecessary and they're not needed in every sense and not everyone needs to know everything about me um and i also think it's good to explore your sexuality and just see what you like um <laughs> i don't know what else to say but um i guess i just haven't put a label on it i'm still kind of open i always say I'm looking for love, I'm not looking for any kind of person. I just want someone who I can love and someone that can love me. Um, but yeah, I just don't want to add any more labels to myself. I already have the female, I have black, I have the disabled. I just, I just don't need any more labels, so... I'm just leaving that one to be what it will be and <laughs> over time it will show. So yeah, I'm just looking for love and hopefully it, it will come my way. But yeah, so that's it.
So that's all the questions for this video. Again, if you want to take part in the next one, head over to my Instagram and my TikTok to see when I do the next um like question thing, <laughs> whatever. But obviously, I, I want everyone to take part. And if you have any more questions, then either go to my social media or just leave it in the comments, and I will try to get it in the next video. Again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all staying safe at home and aren't losing your minds. <laughs> We're all in this together. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>